Hello everyone and welcome to class of virtualized network function architecture by Telcoma. Today in this class we are going to discuss about architecture interfaces and their explanation. So this is the VNF functional view. We are having VNFC which are software components, virtualized network function components and these are SWA1, 2, 3, so up to 5. These are the various interfaces. So interface is basically a point of interaction between two entities or uh, reference points. So we have 5 SWA1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5. So interfaces like we can see here the diagram. We are having virtualized network manager. This is the interface between them. Storage, hardware sources and all. So moving to the next SWA1. Like what is the function of this SWA1? It is an interface for uh, communication between two virtualized network function which connects various virtualized network function in a forwarding graph. It represents data or control plane interface. SWA2 is the uh, interface internal to the VNF for communication between two virtualized network function components. SWA3 which is VE VNFM it is interface of communication between VNF and a manager VNF manager. It, it is basically for lifecycle management of virtualized network function. There is an interconnection attributes like IP L2 connectivity in this. SWA4 interface for communication between VNF and EMS. This is runtime management of VNF according to fulfillment, assurance and billing. SWA5 it is between NFV, uh, VNF and NFVI. So we can see here all the interfaces in this architecture. So moving to the next VNF design and properties, it is divided into internal structure of this life cycle states and load balancing. So internal structure, we can see here internal structure. Virtualization container is there. In this VNF with a single component is there one. And here multiple components. So VNF with a multiple component. This is an internal structure. Now moving to the, this. Parallelizable and non-parallelizable. Parallelizable that means multiple time per instance but considerations on the number. And here once per VNF instance in non-parallelized. Here we can see 1 is to 1 and 1 is to n ratio is there. Next is the VNF states. We can have stateful and stateless. VNF component that needs to handle state information. It can be implemented stateless. We have to sort the state in external repository. In stateless, it doesn't need to handle the state information. It is stateless, stateful with external state. That means stateful state is there in the function and state is external. We can have load balancer. We can have internal load balancer. Here one VNF instant it is seen as one logical NFV by a peer network function. Virtualized network function at least having one component which can be replicated. Internal load balancer with scatters, collect information, packets, flow, session, etc. Next one is the external load balancer. It can be seen as a one logical NFV by peer network function. External load balancer will all other VNF scatter, collect information, packet, flow, session to and from various instances. Another is end-to-end -end load balances. Here, virtualized network function instance, it can be seen as a logical NFE by pure network function. We are having uh, properties of virtualized network function. Hardware independence is there. That means it is COTS ready and hardware dependent. Dependence is not there. Virtualization and container awareness, which is hypervisor dependent operating system containers are there. It is partially virtualized and high layer container technologies are there. Elasticity, there could be no elasticity. 
elasticity by scaling up down only elasticity by scaling in out only and elasticity in either of the domain dimension virtualized network function policy management is there and migration options are there thank you so much